स्टूडेंट दिस इज नीड टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन क्वेश्चन सो लेट्स रीड दी स्टेटमेंट कैलकुलेट द एनर्जी इन जूल कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग टू लाइट ऑफ वेवलेंथ फोर्टी फाइव नैनोमीटर प्लैंक्स कॉन्स्टेंट एच इक्वल टू सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स थ्री इंटू टेन रेज टू पर माइनस थर्टी फोर जूल सेकेंड स्पीड ऑफ लाइट सी इक्वल टू थ्री इंटू टेन रेज टू पर एट मीटर पर सेकेंड राइट इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी आर हैविंग फोर ऑप्शन एंड वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द एनर्जी इन जूल वेन अ लाइट ऑफ वेव लेंथ फोर्टी फाइव नैनोमीटर इज प्रेजेंट राइट एंड इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी आर हैविंग प्लैंक्स कॉन्स्टेंट दैट इज सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स थ्री इंटू टेन रेज टू पर माइनस थर्टी फोर जूल सेकेंड एंड स्पीड ऑफ लाइट थ्री इंटू टेन रेज टू पर एट मीटर पर सेकेंड फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन वी विल यूज द रिलेशन ए इक्वल टू एच सी बाई लेमडा राइट for this i'll see the given values so i am having h that is planck's constant 6.63 into 10 raised to power minus 34 joule second c velocity of light that is 3 into 10 raised to power 8 meter per second right and lambda it is 45 nano meter in this question velocity of light is in meter but wavelength is in nanometer to cancel the units what i'll do i'll simply convert wavelength in meter right for this i can write 1 nanometer is equal to 10 raised to power minus 9 meter so 45 into 10 raised to power minus 9 will be the wavelength in meter right so in bracket you can write 1 nanometer equal to 10 raised to power minus 9 meter right now let's put the values so e equal to h Planck's constant six point six three into ten raised to power minus thirty four joule second c three into ten raised to power eight meter per second divided by lambda. That means wavelength forty five into ten raised to power minus nine meter. Right? I'll cancel meter with meter, second with second inverse. Right? So three one the three and three fifteen the Forty-five. If we will see six point six three is smaller than fifteen. To make the calculations easy, what I'll do, I'll simply displace this decimal up to one digit, right? From left to right, if I am displacing decimal, power will be negative. So sixty-six point three into ten raised to power minus one, right? Into ten raised to power minus thirty-four. I'll write as it is into ten raised to power eight. Now this ten raised to power nine is negative in denominator. When I'll take this power in numerator, it will change its sign. So it will be ten raised to power nine divided by fifteen. Right? Unit I am having joule only. E equal to sixty six point three divided by fifteen. It will be four point four two. Now these powers are in multiplication, so you can simply add them. Ten raised to power minus one minus thirty four plus eight. Plus nine unit. I am having joule over here, right? So E equal to four point four two into ten raised to power minus one minus thirty four. It will be ten raised to power minus thirty five. Eight plus nine. It will be seventeen, right? Minus thirty five plus seventeen. The answer will be four point four two into ten raised to power minus eighteen joule. Now, according to that, we will see the correct option. Fourth one is the correct option.